Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Danigan Ronpa. Last episode, um, I, I think it's pretty clear from this room what happened, but yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki, my favorite character of this game, died. Ugh. Got it. Whoa, what the heck did I just do? I got no- I have no clue what I just did to change the angle like that. Like, okay. Well, anyway. Yeah. She died, and Byakia wants us to help him out with the thing. Don't have more to check- Oh, right, duh, I forgot. We have to check for clues, duh. Also, poster's got blood on it. Must have happened during the- Whoa, whoa. What? The word bloodlust is on the wall. Okay, so that picture there, that is weird. Because I remember that picture being in the uh, other room. We'll have to check that room to see if it, it just both of them have the same picture for some reason, but it would be weird for that to be in a room like this. Um, uh, what does this say? Feel the life draining on my body. It's a dead body. Very here, strange. Well, oh, look, the more strange it seems, it must be Genocide Jack's handiwork. Uh, well, but what? I'm still not sure who did it. Is that what you want to say? <laughs> I wonder about that. <laughs> okay, Mr. Crazy. Also, that thing has blood on it. There's a dumbbell on the floor, and there's a blood stain. Hmm. Wanna come up? I'll sit a blow to the head with a blunt object, so what killed her. Does that mean the dumbbell is actually the murder weapon? That's right. I don't imagine it could have been anything else. And the dumbbell has been added. Okay. Yeah, the surveillance camera. What do you have to say? <laughs> you have time to start investigating. Shut up. I've looked at everything here. Unless this bloodstain is a thing. The first bloodstain on the carpet must have been plotted with blood during the murder. Okay. I've looked at everything in here. Unless you want me to go through here. <laughs> Still have more to check here. Um. Wait, was that over there? Oh, nothing. Okay. TV's not worth investigating. Guess I just need to talk to these guys. I use this locker room all the time. Now it's become the site of Chihiro's death. Why was she killed in the locker room? If you think about it, she could have been ki killed somewhere else than carried here. She was very light. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her, but still. I think she came here on her own by choice. Well, what makes you say that? Hmm. She's been talking a lot lately about me, blah, about how she wanted to get stronger. Oh yeah, like a lot. You're saying she came here to exercise? According to Monaco file, apparently she was killed around 2 in the morning. Would she really be exercising that late? Perhaps! No, myself, we're usually in the locker room during the day, so she was probably avoiding it then. Avoiding? Mm -hmm. Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up. I can only assume she was trying to, to avoid us. Instead, she came to exercise in the middle of the night. However... Perhaps it's difficult for me to imagine she would come alone. She did not- she did want to start, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it herself. She needed support from others. You're saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to train in secret. That would also mean she came with someone else. It's a possibility. Okay, Sakura's account. Dude had a real complex about being weak. Your cheer chalk and talk the Jiro talk ah oh yeah talking about it right all I need to oh I need to get stronger I butchered that line so much yeah I do remember she said that more than once sure did which I guess explains the trip down here did she really need to get stronger that badly I already mentioned it but she was but she was a girl after all most girls aren't that strong I don't know man I haven't really thought about that stuff <laughs> the cause of Shihiro is complex can't help wondering what it might be. Mondo's account. <laughs> no, I believe it's about time for us to move on. Whoa, whoa what? what? New clues don't magically appear by standing around here. 
We need to check every aspect of the case. That's, tr that's Let's true. Let's go. Though. If you're satisfying, hurry up and proceed. Whoa. I caught up with the wrong person this time. Uh, I hate him. <laughs> so this is our next location. Oh, it is the next room. Is this place related? <laughs> Figure out yourself. No fun, right? Oh, no fun if you don't, right? You just... Okay, I don't really see anything in here that could be helpful. Let's just see if he'll... <laughs> Come on, there's something I wanted to check in there. Bunch of different pool related items, nothing to do with the case. Um, what about this? I think it's related to what happened. I thought it did give us a coin. Okay. Forgery was meant to work with handbooks, right? What? You have an issue with it? If so, you should take it up with Monokuma. He said that then quickly. Sharp clip. Did you call for me? It's even domesticated. That's right. It seems Makoto has a question for you. You need something? It's about the card reader, I yep. guess. Yes, yeah, the card reader has been having us all assigned to interface with your e handbook. You can only enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. <laughs> it's impossible for two people in a row to go through while the doors are locked, correct? I Unbelievable. If there were some sort of <laughs> erotic terrorist on the prowl, a silly mounted Gatling gun would initiate swift, a swift cheese slaughter. Okay <laughs> then. The school regulations prohibit anyone from loaning a handbook, handbook, right? Of course! So then, that means only girls can go in the girl locker room and only boys can go boy. In other words, Chihiro's body being found in the girl's locker room means... Hey, Makoto, I can see right through you. Or see right through me? <laughs> Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since your hero was found in the girl's locker room, the killer must have been able to get in there. So, in other words... As such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get it right? Such ignorance. Good lord, you're simple. But am I wrong? <laughs> you, should play clo you should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer's been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing is perfectly fine. <laughs> I would expect nothing less from the prodigal son of a noble Togami family. They managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulations. <laughs> Knowing you, I, I bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more excitement to things. You're treating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore. They're things. Yep. Got it? Good. Whoa, whoa. You're saying that's a loophole, but... In order to borrow something, then, that means someone would have to loan it, so... Uh... Who are you? Oh, sleepy. Just listen, you make me want to pass out. Be more like Jackie and get you... <laughs> uh, it's funny, he can't... Okay, did he not want to say shit? That's what it. Okay, whatever. Unbelievable. I'll bump charge you with criminal negligence. No more questions. Check out the rest on your own. That's fine. Oh, you know, you're unfortunately lacking mental faculties. So I'll fill you in myself. Let's head to the main hall. <laughs> That'll help you understand what's going on. Okay. We came to the main hall. So what are we looking for here exactly? I mean I have to figure it out myself. What's this? I don't not sure if that was the mailbox, could it there be? Whoa! E handbooks. There's three of them, why are they here? <laughs> so you finally found them. It was the first thing I checked. Uh, you knew these were here? <laughs> I happened to find them by chance the other day. Seems there's a system in place where the handbooks of the dead get delivered to the mailbox. And these handbooks belong to Junko, Leon, and Sayaka? <laughs> Go ahead and confirm it yourself. Immediately turned on one of the handbooks and when it did. Yep. Yep, it's Sayaka's. <laughs> 
Now do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting it, yeah. You should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is prohibited. Only the act of loaning is prohibited. Borrowing is perfectly fine. I see. I understand. What? Hold on a second. Very uh, strange. A... That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Drucken, whose is it? The other handbook showed Junko's name when I turned it... When I started it up. And the one that won't turn on must be Leon. I see. It would make sense, yes. After all, I did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs. Ugh. Memory of it came flooding back. The cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. The execution that the mastermind concocted. A cruel, heartless death. You're right. It wouldn't be surprising for the handbook to break during that kind of thing. Damn it! Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Now I'm really angry! Whoa, what? Yeah. The handbook is essential to student life. Crucial, integral, instrumental, super big deal. No, it would break that easily. It did. That's impossible! It didn't want, if I said it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break. <laughs> it would stand up to 10 tons of pressure, then it's waterproof to 100. I don't care how many baseballs you hit it with, it don't do anything. <sighs> but even my amazing weak book has a single weak point. Hmm? I can't hear you! The secret, I wouldn't want you to go breaking any more handbooks. What? And Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing what its weakness was, correct? Hmm. Hard to say. You know what I think? I think his handbook isn't actually broken. What? How could that be? Are the batteries dead? Do they even have batteries? Leaving the question hanging in the air, uh, he disappeared. What just happened? He said it's not broken. It's an undeniable fact it's not turning on. That's fine. I don't see any connection to the case. It doesn't matter for now. Really? Either way, something that still bothers me. Broken e-handbook. <laughs> Okay, this should be more. This should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Need to find out who killed Chihiro. <laughs> to be exact, not quite. Not quite. The heck you talking about? What do you mean, not quite? <laughs> Certainly, I want to reveal Chihiro's killer, but more precisely, <laughs> I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. You really think... You, you really think he's here? And that he's the one that killed Chihiro? Don't make me repeat myself. Absolutely. I have no doubt that Genocide Jack's the culprit in this case. <laughs> the murderous... That murderous fiend's Genocide what? Jack. No one else it could be. <laughs> a murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. Like a ghost, attacking suddenly then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. What nickname did the internet give this mysterious soldier? Yep, we've said all this again. They say he's killed thousands, but an urban legend. And still, could he, one of us really be a demented killer like that? You're not wrong to wonder. Where's being little right now? I have something that'll prove it. I can show you. Um. What is it? You really think that he's... Don't make me repeat myself. I have a basis to believe that, I assure you. He's one of us. Is there really proof? There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all the evidence you need. It's all clear now. Evidence that Genocide Jack is the one that killed your hero. Does something like that really... Yuto! I don't know what... Oh. Big trouble, we need your help. I don't have time to play with you. We're busy. Leave us alone. Cause, I mean... An emergency! Come on, please, help me! Oh, what's going on? Please! Serious emergency, please, please, gotta help me. Okay, what the heck's going on? Cause, I mean... It's an emergency! <laughs> what is going on? Well... Something's wrong with Doko, she's acting super strange. She was acting odd earlier. Uh, what do we do? Very strange. This is Toko, I must admit. I'm intrigued. I suppose we can take a second to see what's going on. Don't sure. make me repeat myself. 
I click that, I thought for sure he'd just say no, and that'd be the end. Yeah! Okay, hur hurry! Wait, let's go. Looks like she headed to the dorms. To Toko's room, most likely. Yeah. Thank you, convenient fast travel. Such ignorance. You're talking to, a wrong, to the wrong person, you waste of space. Great. Um, what do you say? You guys are too slow. I think you're just too fast. <laughs> What's the emergency? So, um... After what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Toko in her room so she could lay down. After a while, she came back on her, you know. Oh, we came back to check on her, you know, see how she was doing. But when we did, it was weird. She refused to come out, and she kept saying all the weird stuff. All this weird stuff. That's fine. We should try talking to her ourselves. Not a good idea. Hey, crazy. So give it a shot. The door swung open slowly and silently. Holy crap. An aura of negativity floated from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that uh, Hina was really worried about you holding yourself up in your room. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? Won't allow it. Huh? <laughs> Won't let Genocide Jack have control. What does that mean? Just like that, she slammed the door in my face. What was that? Mm. She's been acting like that the whole time. When I rang a little while ago. <laughs> I'll drive out the killer. Drive out the murder with me. Okay. Um. It doesn't make any sense, right? I'm afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust down the door. I felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. Couldn't even budge it. Toko was scared enough to even bar her door. Does she think the same thing as Byakuya? Does she think the serial killer Genocide Jack murdered Chihiro? Is that why Toko's scared? Whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Isn't there anyone who might be able to persuade her? Um, she's ridiculously infatuated with you, I remember that much. Like, yeah, okay, could you ask her to come out of her room, I mean. That's fine. You're gonna to talk to her, Bakia? Wow, you can be nice when you want to. Bakia stood in front of the door, not making a sound, and pressed the doorbell. After a few moments... What do you want? Leave me alone, you're all so annoying. Uh, Get back here! It's Byakuya. Sorry, I couldn't keep our promise. Don't worry, never again. I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. What the heck are you talking about? I am confused. With that, the door slammed shut. Hmm. Even Byakuya couldn't pull it off. <laughs> oh. There's nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. Oh, wait. Byakuya. What was Toko talking about just now? You got a promise? What? Uh, oh, I have no idea. Another one of her delusions, I'm sure. But Stop talking. If I say I don't know, then I don't know. Just let Hina take care of it. Mm. Okay, I'll stay here and keep an eye on Let's it. Let's go. Not waiting for a reply, Bianca. Go away. Come on, bro. I hurry to catch up. I tried to talk to him several times, but he didn't even look back, let alone say anything. He just kept on walking to his destination. Finally, his feet brought him to a stop in front of a certain room. The library? <laughs> Come on, let's go in. I know it's your favorite room, but what's going to help us in here? Like, seriously, you're always in this room. Is the evidence to prove that it was Genocide Jack in the library? Don't make me repeat myself. Um, how about over here? Side of the door, the archive, right? Hurry and go inside. Oh, here. Let's go. It's all. It'll all make sense once you're inside. Oh, this room is a mess. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. So much dust. So, in other words, I would say there's enough value in this place to encode the dust. Um. 
what do you have to say? <laughs> you think I was looking gunny, then let me give you a little warning. These things are filled with graphic, disturbing photos from all kinds of crime scenes. The kind of any th any normal person wouldn't want to look at. Be careful. You mean those files are investigation reports related to different cold cases? They are internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. Okay, I meant to talk to you. <laughs> if you pay attention to your surroundings, you'll... Oh, great. There's so many files. What? That's enough. Those documents are dangerous. Dangerous? They entail all the people who can control the world from beyond the scenes. Dangerous truths were common. I mean, like, the members of the Diet or something? <laughs> oh, I mean, the ones with real power. The secret council controlling everything in the shadows. If you're real, to be, if you're ready to be disappeared for, what does that even mean? Disappeared for? Take a look. There are, there's a, there are some very interesting people in there. You're kidding, right? <laughs> Am I? I'll let that go for now. This shelf is tough. I'm not thinking about. It, I picked one up <laughs> man. Oh, you have a sharp eye to select that one. What? That's right. That's the report on presidential assassination. The original's kept at the National Library. It won't be declassified for another 30 years. You sure you want to look at it now? <laughs> no telling whose crosshairs you might wind up in for peeking at it. I returned it to the shelf. Um... Should we look at the one behind him? Uh, cold cases. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, all that's left is down here. The desk lamp. Oh, yeah, it's the one back here you see in the library. What? Do you have a problem with the lamp? It was here before, then I moved. It was here before, then I moved it over there. It's too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it into good use. Okay. A wooden box. It's empty. And judging by the smudges, it looks like there's something inside. Hmm. There's an extension cord plugged in there. Two very useful ones in the library. Hmm. What? Finally beginning to understand the true splendor of the library. The entire reason I was interested in the library is because the room right here. Hmm. Interesting. It's home to classified government documents, police records, things no ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? This can't be real, right? Such ignorance. That's your guy's problem. Anything you don't that doesn't fit in your preconceived reality, you label it a lie. It's not just that, it's just it's not like I totally believe, refuse to believe it, but I mean there's so much. How could anyone gather all those and put up that? How could anyone have put all this together? Hmm. I suppose it goes to show you just how much Trope Speak truly really wields. Well perhaps. <laughs> Last of my may have wanted us to provide us with enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. Uh, it's no use. I can't keep up, up with all of this. It's just too unreal. <laughs> What's wrong? Still can't believe it. Oh, you, how can you believe this so easily? Things like that are usually impossible. What? What do you mean, usually? Usual? Normal? Ordinary? Simple? Those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. Don't pull your punches, do you? <laughs> Besides, what you consider usual is based on common sense, right? What makes you think your own common sense applies to me? <laughs> Documents gathered here are genuine. I've reviewed them multiple times, so there's no doubt. <laughs> oh, you're saying you read all the documents. More than once. This has got- all this has to be like top secret confidential stuff. Why? <laughs> My family has a reading room just like this at our home. Ours is bigger, of course, and not as dusty. <laughs> Members of the Togami family have access to any variety of government-related documents. That includes foreign powers as well as domestic. What? So, in other words... I already told you, there's a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. <laughs> My family is a member. I have within me the bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the world to my will. <laughs> to become such a ruler, I must know all levels of this world backwards and forwards. 
Whenever I have time, I like to review whatever documents and materials that interest me. Okay. Which is why I can reclaim, without a doubt, the good materials gathered here are real. That's beyond believing or not believing. Jack is starting to scare me more than the actual mastermind. Hmm. And what always interests me, interested me were the cold case police investigation reports. Being through those has always been a hobby of mine. Since I was little, I enjoyed looking at the bodies of dead people. Makes me happy because I am a sadistic piece of. <laughs> I'm done now. Okay, it's an it's an excellent mental exercise. I've solved more than a few of those cases just by reviewing the reports. And among the reports, one of my recent favorites: Genocide Jack. As he talked, Jack here grabbed a specific pile from the shelf. That's right. A file, not pile. This is the complete case file. Every single report surrounding the Genocide Jack cases has been skimmed. There has been compiled in here. Hmm. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize the main points. To begin, right to begin, there are two notable char characteristics in every genocide Jack murder. The first, in every crime scene, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's blood. The second, when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Bloodlust written in blood, the body is suspended. That's what happened to Shihiro. <laughs> Save your surprise, the best is yet to come. Hmm. For the second characteristic, so the victims are suspended. The only ones who knew about that particular fact were members of the police and higher ups. By all accounts, no one in the media ever found out. No. Hmm. In other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew about that aspect of each crime. Only key officials and the killer himself knew about this act of mounting the victim. Hmm. Now, if you recall Chihiro's corpse, <laughs> but it was most certainly mounted in this fashion. How could the killer have known about that? That's right. That's the key question. In fact, the answer's not... So, in other words... The killer culprit isn't a copycat killer. It's the real Genocide Jack. In other words... That right there is the evidence that Genocide Jack's hidden himself among the rest of us. And Genocide Jack really is such a brutal fiendish killer who's all walking around among us. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Things are starting to get interesting, aren't they? Never imagined a killer with, with such a reputation would ever become part of our little game. Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what I've already seen? I might just manage to ferret out a clue or two. Such ignorance. If you get down on your knees and beg, I might even show you myself. Are you going to make me talk to you again? Uh, about the file? You let me see it. That's fine. Ah, oh, she didn't beg, but I guess it's okay this time. Feel free to look at it, but you can't take it with you. Becky handed me the file, and I flipped through it with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly, my hand stopped. I had reached the page where photos from the scene of each crime had all been collected. Ew. Several names of Jack's victims ran on several pages. Ken Harada, 32. Tetsuhiro Honda, 17. Shoji Gaku, 23. Kano Ise, 14. Takeshi Yoshida, 30. Komatsu no Taro, Takafemi Gono, Uchida Naoto, now he's the Takashi Matsumune, Yoto Yomejima, no end to it. One thing became perfectly clear as I read. This here is true. The killer's countless victims were killed and suspended in the exact same way. Uh, the word bloodlust was left in the victim's blood. Hmm. Take a look at the next page. You'll find an un another interesting tidbit. Next page. Is all of the crimes took place either on weekdays or at night, during holidays either day or night. This common t time was on holidays in the afternoon. Based on that, I would suggest that the suspect may be a student. Evidence suggests that the suspect lingered in the scene, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. Because an eyewitness has never come forward, it's unlikely there was any external reason for this. This confused behavior suggests that the suspect may potentially suffer from dis dissociative identity disorder. So, in other words, 
key point is that the culprit may have a split personality. A split personality. Like the thing on TV? Uh, part of another unbelievable story. This one is way more unbelievable than anything up till now. Or well, maybe it isn't. I don't know. I feel like my mind's gone numb. Let's go. Alright, we should be going soon. Where are we going exactly? Hm. Anywhere but here. We finished our business, haven't we? Wait, wait, Biakia. Come on, bro. As usual, he left without another word, so I hurried to, out to catch up. Hm. Well, this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the class trial. Just, just like that? I don't have time to play with you. Come on, enough of your annoying misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Goodbye. And he's gone. As quickly as he'd asked me to join him, he'd cut me off. In the end, I felt like I was just some plaything getting tossed around. At the same time, I'd cover, uncovered some important clues thanks to him. Genocide Jack, the one that killed Chihiro. That murderous fiend is one of us. Who is it? I have to find out, no matter what it takes. And to do that, there's somewhere I have to go investigate one more time. Back to the crime scene. I should check the girls' locker room. I should check the boys as well. Yeah, this might have come up with some info I might find useful while I'm at it. I need to find out everything I can. Okay, well, I think we'll continue this investigation in the next episode! Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to stop spinning now. But yeah, see you next time, guys, for more action, mystery, murder, and some flex of life stuff as well, but not right now.